we doing? Welcome to Good Works Tractors. Today we are going to do some disking with a 1025R. A small little disc here, lightweight. We've talked about it before. The problem with most of these compact discs, they are just not heavy enough to get the job done. So we found a great solution to that. That's going to be with our hitch hanger brackets here that are coming any time now, I promise. But you can hang up to three 70 pound suitcase weights per side assuming your tractor can lift it up. For us here, 170 pound weight on either side, an extra 140 pounds was roughly 20, 25% additional weight on this disc to help it dig down in the ground and do the job it's supposed to do. But disking today was not without its challenges. We're gonna tell you more about that in just a minute. But first, I wanna tell you exactly why it pays to be a YouTube channel subscriber which coincidentally is absolutely free. Because whether you're watching it in this video or saw on the YouTube community tab, you are one of the first to know about the sale we have going on right now. Save 10% for a limited time only, code FREEDOM10, going on until shortly after the July 4th holiday, an independent celebration, so to speak, as well as a bonus, 5% in rewards on your account. So if you order something from our website, you're gonna get 10% off of whatever you order right now that we have. And it could be something in stock or maybe a pre-sale. Say it's a, a piece of snow equipment. We have snow pushers coming in, snow blowers, uh, snow blades, all that kind of good stuff coming soon and you're gonna need it before you know it. But you can get an extra 5% off there on your account. So if you spend $1,000, for example, you're gonna get 50 bucks in rewards in your account to use on a future order. So that's 15% you're saving overall. 10% now, 5% to apply to that future order. We have all these cool little features of our website that we're still getting accustomed to, so I'm, I'm having some fun. You guys love the last sale that we did. We don't really run sales historically, but we're having a good time, so brought it back for a short time here. Freedom 10 is the code on any attachment or accessory we sell in stock or available for pre-order. And as a quick reminder of other discounts that we've always had, just to refresh you, we always have a 10% off military, whether it's active or veteran, first responders, LEOs, go to our website, you get all the information there. That's 365 days a year as a way to say thank you. If you wanna pay by check or exact cash, we don't keep change around, you can save an extra 2% by avoiding those credit card fees. And if you wanna pick it up locally in the greater Kalamazoo area, we're over in Pawpaw now, used to be right in Kalamazoo, but in Pawpaw, just outside of Kalamazoo, you are welcome to save a whole bunch more money there too, picking it up from our shop. And so those savings will vary depending on the item that it is. And I don't wanna forget about the GWT Discount Club. And so those are gonna be for items that we don't sell. We don't stock everything here, but we partner with other vendors, all sorts of manufacturers all around the country all around North America, I guess, is a better way to put that, where you can use code GWT to save at least 5%, sometimes more, off of your order by ordering it directly through that manufacturer. We have a whole page dedicated to that on our website, so check that out too. As always, we're sponsored by Bora Wheel Spacers. They are made in America, have a lifetime warranty. If your tractor feels tippy side to side, especially if you have a cab on it, then adding a set of wheel spacers can make a big difference. Get more information on them at the link down below. Okay, so back to the disking now, what we had going on today. And so we're out here at our new property and I'm putting in, uh, kind of back behind me where we were at, I'm, I'm prepping to put in another screen, all right? We, we talked about and we showed you planting that um, screening product that'll grow over 12 foot tall. You know, it'll stand up all winter long, so if you want it for uh, food plot protection, if you just want it for privacy, uh, to keep poachers away, there's a lot of different reasons you may want that product. That's what we're gonna put out here to screen a food plot kind of back in the corner, get that nice and secure for the deer, hopefully the big bucks coming around this fall, we'll find out. And so as with anything, prepping new ground with a small equipment takes some patience, some practice, and the more tools you have, maybe the better. So the first thing we did is mow that long grass and those weeds down. Looks like it's been mowed yearly. I don't know if it's been mowed multiple times a year. We just moved in, so this is new for us, but no big, no big uh, branches or, or root balls or anything like that to deal with so much. So that was pretty easy. So then we came through with an all-purpose plow, and we've showed you one of those before as well. A little different in the sense of the word plow. It's It's got uh, spring-loaded shanks uh, that just drive down, they rip maybe seven, eight, nine inches down, something like that. A pretty good depth there that really works up that side, gets underneath the roots and turns the soil pretty well. Now I did that well over a week ago. Um, it could be creeping up on closer to two weeks. And so I did that and then on one leg, it's an L shape, right? So on one leg, I did come back right away and turn the soil um, with uh, four passes total on the disc. So up, down, up, down on, on every strip that I had there. I didn't, I just ran out of time to do the other side. Actually, that. Well, I ran out of time, but I forgot. This 1025R has been overheating, all right? And it just started happening all of a sudden. Um, 
you can drive it for 10, 15 minutes and it, no matter what you do, it, it just overheats. So we've checked the filter, of course, uh, that's clean enough. It's not brand new, but it's, uh, it's within 50 hours. So it's not seeing the, the end of its life by any means. This tractor just had a full service done too, about 50 hours ago, give or take. Uh, coolant levels are good. So next guess is thinking it's probably a thermostat. I'm gonna have to check on that to see what happens. So today I took a bit different approach. We got the disc back on here and I didn't think about it before because I'm a knucklehead, but we've got our own product here, the hitch hangers, and the hitch hanger is great for several reasons, okay? So today's reason was because I've complained about it, others have too, that these discs are too light, so this added more weight. This is about the max extra weight we could put on there. The tractor barely wanted to lift it up. But if you need more ballast weight on a larger tractor, right, you can hang an extra 370 pound weights or 210, 420 total pounds, uh, of extra ballast weight there, or if you have maybe a light grader blade that you want more weight on, or a landscape rake, or just some other application that needs more down pressure on it too, it's handy for that. So it's a cooler day, it's morning time. I had the throttle set just part way up, and number one, that was to help control speed. I wanted to go fairly slow. You'll see that uh, I was rocking and rolling. That ground was super uneven, so you couldn't go too fast. And then I throttle up a little bit more on the subsequent passes too, as it gets smoothed out a little bit. We made it the whole way through that process, and the needle was just still in the green, almost hitting the red. So we didn't overheat at all today, which is a good thing, but it was definitely gonna get there if we ran it too much longer. But in fact, the overheating was so bad that just the other day, I was treating this disc as more of a, a cultivator uh, just in our garden. And just, I had everything almost as least aggressive as possible on the, uh, the angles of the disc, just to kind of lightly work the ground up. Just some real easy passes up and down in there, probably 10 minutes worth of work. And it was already overheating just in that application. And so we may have to take this tractor in if we can't figure this out to get that repair done and use something else to get the ground tilled up and ready for seed. It is late June right now. You can plant this seed even in, the, in late July, they say, and still get a seven foot screen. So we're in good shape. It's better to plant when it's dry versus wet, according to the seed manufacturer. So I tell you, no matter what it is, we have things to keep us on our toes around here. Things never go good for long. <laughs> But that's why we have extra tractors, right? That must be the reason why we have extra tractors around here. So when one goes down, the next one can step up. Gosh, maybe this is a John Deere problem. Is that is that what I'm realizing right now? I know that's what you Kubota guys are gonna tell me, that's for sure. So anyways, that's gonna wrap it up for us today. Again, we make these videos because we have real work to do out here, real projects, but I wanna show you tractor attachments in action. The things that we sell, we're not just a website and we don't know anything about it, right? We use this stuff, we put it to work, we show you how it works, we show you when we have problems, we show you how to do better. We have all sorts of comments down below so that other folks can chime in and give suggestions, give improvements, tweaks, all that kind of stuff too. It's a really great all around resource for you guys. And again, don't forget right now we do have a sale going on, limited time only. So if you're watching in the future, who knows, maybe we have something else going on at that time. So check all that out at goodworkstractors.com. And if you do enjoy tractor videos, Hit that subscribe button right down below. It's completely free, no charge at all. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by, and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. All right, got my own first order of GWT swag. Good Works Tractors hats, nice. And we're not making any money on this, okay? So any profits we do get are being donated. We're not, we're not, I don't feel it's right to make money off of you guys wanting to wear good works tractor stuff that's pretty cool in and of itself and i appreciate that and so i just don't feel right making any money as well so this is a well i got a mixture of stuff this one this is a made in america it says right in the tag made in america shirt right here you can see in the classic there's a lot of well like with everything some of their stuff's out of stock on their website right now there's another made in america version right here there's some some non-made in america stuff on there too but I chose to get the made to made in America stuff. A few different varieties there. Got a sweatshirt. This is uh, I should probably tell you what size. All those shirts were. Well, yeah, that's I got a couple different sizes. I got two XLs. I'll hold all these up. This is an XL. Okay, right there. This is a large. Right there. I'm like in between a large and an extra large, it's annoying. That's XL, hoping this one might shrink a touch for me, or I need to put on a few pounds. 
Another XL right here too. Anyway, link on our website. Thought I'd show you what it looks like.